Hello! Good day to you, and welcome to some more totally normal Super Mario World. By which I mean Super Mario World remade from memory. I do have this... Boy, 74! Well, that was a good clip. But I'm actually gonna load a save state. Just here. Because this way I keep all my lives. This is one of those games, like Donkey Kong Country 2, you could max out your life counter, but then as soon as you save and quit and go back, you're back down to five. And I just like seeing the number go big. Plus, I don't know, hopefully I don't need it. But we'll find out. Have they put Dino Rhinos in... I feel like they've put them in something more recently. Like... Oh yeah, Dino Oh, there were white ones in Paper Mario. But... I'm trying to think if there are... Dino Rhinos made an appearance past that. I can't remember. Bleh. I seem to recall reading on the cutting room floor, which is a great website if, like me, you like knowing the minutiae of the stuff that's cut from games. Um, there was a, a note that these the big dino rhinos were supposed to breathe fire, but that got cut out. I don't know why. The more you know. Munchers. They look like, like muscles to me. As in the, the shellfish. Not the meaty things on your biceps, if you're like me. Ugh. Oh. Oh. I should be trying more of these pipes to see if I can go in them, huh? No. No, just disappointment. Whatever. I only have a vague recollection of this, the original level here. I mean, oh, here we go. I want to go out the cannon. Oh, this isn't the cannon. This is just big fish. No. Oh, I guess that wasn't really that bad. There's a room in the spirit temple. Ooh, I'm really glad they positioned that Koopa right. With those five alcoves, but above each was a sun emblem, a song of time block, a long, long ranch crate, a crate. Oh. That's a lot to deal with. Hello, Capodico! Welcome to Big Fish. You know, one thing I don't like about the Spirit Temple, Vanilla, Master Quest, whatever, is those chests that when you open them, they freeze Link, because they startle me and I hate it. Boop. Is this your first time seeing Super Mario World remade from memory, Capodico? Does this ghost house have a secret exit? I don't You had to play the respective song in each. Really fun idea. Too bad it led to nothing. Oh. I would like to see more, I think, Zelda games do sort of master quest with trickier puzzles. Um, I mean, I know, like, Breath of the Wild has its master quest mode, which I haven't played. I didn't buy that DLC. But I've heard it just feels a little tedious in parts just because the enemies have more health and their health regenerates its memory serves, which just makes it feel like it takes forever to take them down. That's one of the reasons like, I don't like, say, RPGs where they're, oh, they're hard difficulty, um, just ups like enemy health and reduces the damage you do, like Etrian Odyssey does that, which just gets, again, a little tedious. Is there another set of boo blocks here? No, I'll have to lead those ones over. Hello, Ryfam! Terrier's currently the best dogs. I like- I appreciate that you should be sh yeah, you showing me the mascot for the Boston Terriers. You know, I'm, I'm glad that that is what their team is called because, I mean, what else are you gonna call it, right? Like, the, the joke is right there. You are also a connoisseur of vine sauce. You did see Vinny play through some of this. Aha! I haven't seen his playthrough yet because I didn't- I saw like 30 seconds of it. I'm like, oh no, I want to play this without having seen any of myself. So I can be equally bemused. Did he beat it? This is everybody's favorite dog breed, if you have one. I am more of a cat person, but I appreciate a cute dog. I like Samoyeds and Sheba's. Sheba's are very cute. 
All right, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed run this. <laughs> I'm gonna speed run this by which I mean mashing my face into a dinosaur. Ugh. Let's go, Yosh. He did. Okay, good. Saint Bernard is a good choice. I remember there was some customer in my first store in the drive-thru that would come through in a big truck and he always had this big Saint Bernard in the back of the truck. And I had a co-worker, oh, see ya, um, who would get really excited whenever he came through. She'd be like, it's the Beethoven dog! But I just remember the person themselves were kind of surly. I complimented them once, saying like, oh, you're, I like your dog because that's what I've noticed working in a drive-thru, that um, people love to talk about their pets. Or, I get their families, but that's more awkward for me to hear. But yeah, for some reason I complimented his dog and he just stared at me. I'm sorry. Chihuahuas? A Pomchi? Oh, Boston Terriers are cute. I, I mentioned on stream, yeah, the... Um, coffee shop that I'd go to in the States. Maybe I didn't. I don't recall, but there was this coffee shop in the area where I'd stay whenever I go to the States. I was gonna kill some time here. And, um, it was a dog-friendly place, because a lot of the businesses on this road were. And they had, I guess, their mascot. It was this little Boston Terrier named Buddy. I hope he's still around. Um, that who visited me when I was enjoying a latte there once. He just came up to my table and just like sat politely in front of me and looked at me for a second. I guess just to confirm that I was enjoying my beverage and I said hello to him and then he quietly moved on to the next table. It was very cute. Hello, Spooter. Oh, so I guess I'll mention to you folks here if you haven't seen on Twitter. Um... I was doing some cleaning in the kitchen earlier and just getting rid of stuff in the drawers and the cabinets and I found in a drawer these Despicable Me blind box vinyl figures and I did not buy them. I certainly would not buy them. I don't know where they came from. They were just shoved in the back of the drawer and I opened them, of course, because, you know, I had to know. And they were both minions. They didn't oh, see it. They didn't have to both be minions, but that's what I got. Both minions, and now I'm just this house is cursed. Which means I really have to leave. Oh, I really hope I make it. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, the slowdown. Yeah. It was horrifying. I don't know what to do with them. I did see the picture of the hockey jersey with the little terrier in front. It's very good. I like it when sports teams use animals as their mascot. Burn them, but they're vinyl, though. The pollution. Chocolate secret. This doesn't seem, like, very chocolatey, unless, like, the walls are. I don't know. I wouldn't eat it. Oh, no, you don't. Have I ever seen the Blind Mag videos Ashens on YouTube does? I have not. Please elaborate. Oh, that was almost bad, but it wasn't. We're good. Sell them on the internet. Do people want cursed minions, though? I don't actually know if there's a demand for them. I guess maybe that's why some people get, like... Uh, blind box figures and then they sell the extras they don't want. Oh, no. I'm really glad. I said it last time, but I'm glad Charge and Shrek does not kick footballs anymore. You kick the football like the football? I realize there's probably a, a, a portion of the internet that is not... Okay. That is not familiar with me yet. The cat. If he likes the thing, he puts it on the shelf of interesting items. If he hates it, he pulls out a blowtorch. <laughs> I like the cut of their jib. What? Why do you stare at me with Minecraft Steve? 
Oh, here's the checkpoint. But why go to that little side area? I guess if you're trying to get all the dragon coins, but why would you do that? I guess if you're playing the... Man, the... Just, like, perfectly spaced to get me as I go by. Ah, dang it. Get in the pipe, Mark. Mar get in the... Please. Oh, my gosh. There's a massive demand for minion stuff still? I guess big market uh, for Facebook moms. I'm sure there's more people than Facebook moms that genuinely love minions, but, you know, that's that's the joke. Always with the, the minion memes. I don't know if I want to burn them exactly, but I am faced now with a burden for what to do with these minion figures. But yeah, I guess Facebook Marketplace for several hundred monies? I don't have Facebook, though. I'm not gonna get Facebook just to sell some cursed minions. Like, that's so many bad ideas in one place. Oh. Uh... Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> Put it on eBay and see how much I get. I'll enjoy lurking in your den, Spooter. Should let me go back left. There's a cape feather here. Excuse me. I could donate them to Goodwill. Does Goodwill take toys? Would Goodwill want cursed minions? No, please leave. Leave me alone. There we go. Oh, oh, they do. Okay. If they're in good condition, well, I just took them out of the blind box. So unless they have somehow aged several hundred years in that drawer in the kitchen, which, I mean, I don't know what goes on in that drawer, maybe. Then I suppose so. I'll look into it. I'll see if there's a market for blind box vinyl minions. It's a shame none of them are secret characters, because, you know, blind boxes always got to have secret characters, right? Oop. Toys are rare at Goodwill, but it means kids get toys they might not get. That's a good idea. Oh, Goodwill alumni. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that intel. Because I know we have some stuff that could definitely be donated, but I don't know what is acceptable and what isn't, and I don't want to overburden their system. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Oh no. Jeez. Oh, the spacing on this is evil. Of course you have good ideas, Carrie. Be kind to yourself. Senpai cannot be mean to herself. Cheese it and just fly across? I was thinking about that. Since I have a reserve cape feather and I'll try not to lose it. Let's go. If they don't want something, they'll either not accept it or they'll throw it away the second I leave. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. I get it though, you wanna- you wanna save face. No, 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 I need this, I need this. It is very important. Okay. Let me get past this first little spiny gauntlet though. Cause I don't wanna accidentally hit... Um... Uh, one of the spinies. That's on... This little rectangular platform in front of me. Here? Yeah, this one. Okay. Is this is this the evil bit? I don't remember. Am I gonna be able to get it of speed? Actually, maybe if I take off from here. Oh, well, that worked. It's like I can't see myself. If you hit Chuck with a cape, he shakes his head like, no, no, no. Oop. I gotta take another sip of my tea. Well, hopefully I don't unearth any more cursed figures while I'm digging. 
Oh, the music here is also kind of weird. The chords are different. I like how happy Bowser is in the background. I guess I'll have to take a better look at that when I actually get there. But he's just flying around and having a great time. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not having a great time. Not as good as the Lakitu sprite after he gets hit with a cape, no. Oh no, Kapotico, I'm good at Super Mario World. Please don't judge me. I did good the first stream. <laughs> it's a warm-up. It's a warm-up. Okay, ooh. I don't like the way he's looking at me. No, he'll never look at anything again. I need a cape for the secret exit here, but I don't know if this level is going to give me another cape. Or I guess I could just get a Yoshi, since there's all these blue Koopas. That's true, this isn't straight Mario World. This is... I mean, there's still no excuse for me missing that jump, though. That was just me being a ding-dong. Ah, uh, fuzzies. Me work. Maybe if I had a nemesis in the Mario series, it might be fuzzies. I'll have to think about that further. Actually, you know what I hate are the, the pair of bones. The uh, flying dry bones in Mario 3D Worlds. Because they, they track you down and they're very good at getting in my way. Ooh, ooh don't do that. <laughs> He's just flying around having a great time. Not me, though. Good. I mean, why have the clip feature if we're not going to use it to mercilessly make fun of me? <laughs> As is well deserved. Oh, it's just stuck down there now. That's okay. I didn't need that money anyway. What, Mara Penguin's wife? Well, she was really quick to call us a murderer. I mean, you know, at least let us commit a murder before you accuse us. You know, it's boring if you we don't get to enjoy it, right? Okay. No more Koopas. Whoop. There we go. I'll do the regular exit, too. This one's meant to trip you up, because if you don't get the secret exit, the regular exit just makes you loop. Okay. You know, it'd be funny if, like, one of the songs in this game was... Oh, why am I flying? I don't want to fly. That's boring. If one of the songs in this game was untouched from its original version, but because every other song in the game has been remade that you suddenly don't trust your memory anymore. And you're like, no, that can't be right. Is it? I almost had a moment when I was listening to the recording and I heard the cave music and I thought, is it really di Yeah, it is. It is different. But I had this moment of doubt. That's how they get you. You've considered playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for the first time in likely over a decade. On a scale of one to now, when should I start playing? Well, I mean, now, obviously. You gotta get on it while the iron's hot, while the game is fresh and new, before somebody can spoil it for you. Like, the fact that uh, Princess Peach and the Mushroom Kingdom are thrown into peril? Oops. Yeah, we got some Superstar Saga fans in here. Myself included. Carrie, too. Have you played any of the Mario and Luigi games before, Capotico? Oh, you have the remake. Sadly, you don't have a GBA. How did you find the remake? I haven't played the remake. But I know I've heard some of the music for it, and I didn't think the music sounded as good. Like, it has this sort of tinny, almost toothless feel, for lack of a better word. Like, especially the battle theme was missing something. Which is a shame, because the original battle theme is real good. And it would have been nice to hear it remastered um, without the, the Game Boy Advance sound um, crunch, let's say. Big old donut. Um, I mean, I actually, it makes an appearance at the beginning of Paper Jam, the uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga battle theme. Bowser having a grand old time in a clown car. The marquee with his name on his castle it explains why in Mario RPG he's obsessed with his image. I think he's always been obsessed with his image. I mean, well, I, 
even in, okay, I was gonna say in the original Mario Bros, but specifically the All-Stars version of the original Mario Bros. Like, there's portraits of him all over the walls of his castles. Aw, oh, man. So, clearly here's a, a reptile that knows the meaning of self-love and self-care. Maybe we should all aspire to be a little more like Bowser. Uh, maybe not so much kidnapping monarchs, you do that at your own risk, but... You know, putting statues of yourself all over the place, pictures of yourself, reaffirming how great you are and how cool and powerful and strong. Um, maybe hold off on the lava pits, though. I don't know how much that would raise your insurance premiums, but better not to uh, test your luck. It is good branding. The remake is wonderful. Okay, that's good to know, but the music does sound a little hollowish. I'm glad at least, like, the remake is good. I don't need that. Why am I... Goodbye, Thwimps. Ooh-wee-you. If you just got here and you're confused about the screen... Stream title? That's the ooh you Okay, that last bit is really good, though. Like, the arpeggios you get in the middle are still kind of miserable. Oh, someone painted their door brown. Someone dares to be different. Ugh. Feels cheesy having the cape. Like a crutch. Whoosh. I could still jump in the lava pit after hitting that last Trent Reznor. But I wouldn't do that. You're expecting that one of the levels these developers just completely forgot about it, and it's nothing like the original game. Honestly, I kind of hope so, just because it would be funny. You know, I used to parse these cave entrances as, like, campfire pits when I was little. Useless Mori trivia. Nebula's brown goop. Except it's like bubbling and fizzing. Maybe it's cola. I'm gonna hope that it's cola. Oh no. Well, uh, Mario is on a strict diet. So, no coke for him. Ugh. I'm really glad that you don't slide off those when you duck. So I can still do this. Good. It's a terrible habit. It's like it's like when you're playing Mega Man and you go through the the doors to get to a robot master. You always gotta jump through the doors, right? Oh. Uh oh. I can't scroll down. I'm gonna get back on this. Okay. Ugh. See no cape platforming legitimately. I'm not getting that. I mean, I've only got 62 lives, though. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. Hmm. I think there's a P-switch in one of these. I'm gonna get this just so I don't kill myself in a Mondo Mole, though. There we go. I don't remember if there's anything useful in that pipe, but let's find out. I can actually hit the P-switch. There we go. Bowser's Minions is underrated. You don't care what people say about it. I mean, I like the fact that there's a... Well, at least in the Bowser's Inside Story remake that we get more Bowser Jr. content. Oh. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, the bottom of this just killed you? Like, it's just chocolate goop if you fall too fast? That wouldn't be funny at all. Bone. Don't jump in the goop. Okay, well, that is... Positioned perfectly to get you if you do a full jump. Gotta admire the hut spa. I'm gonna drink more tea!
Okay. I don't think I'm going to get through this tea before it gets unpleasantly cold, but that's why microwaves are invented, right? Well, it's a lot easier to hit these consistently, consistently with the floor being higher up, but, well, if I hit the right one, maybe. Boop. What do you mean, sure? <laughs> nope. Nope. There we go. Is this a Yoshi? Yes, it is. I could just let that timer run out, you know, and, like, let him fall. But I would never do that. If I could actually get on... There we go. You're pretty sure. Ah! Okay. 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 Woohoo! What should you draw? Hmm. I'm thinking. What should Carrie draw, everybody? Oh, you're right! I do have a nice number of lives. Oh! <laughs> Yoshi did not think it was very nice. <laughs> hmm. Mario Strikers fan art. If any of you haven't seen from Mario Strikers Charge, the uh, cutscenes. Um, the character intro cutscenes when you start a match, you should, because they're funny. A, everybody has a, a, their own light motive. Light motive, sorry. Um, and I think Wario's is particularly funny because it's, like, tubas. I seem to recall Waluigi had a funny one, too. Um, but I also just like their intros because they're so aggressive. Particularly Peach. I think I've said before, but it sounds like she she says, like, Princess Peach. But it doesn't sound like she says Peach. <laughs> sounds more like Witch with a B. Let's say that. Oh, why are there so many saw blades? If any of you have played Hollow Knight, it's making me think of the White Palace. I guess the Pale King took some design tips from Bowser. Man, I hate these things. They just stress me out. Ugh. Freedom! Okay. Morio betraying Yoshi? What? No, I would never do such a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you looking forward to the new Mario Strikers Capotico? Oh, no. <laughs> Why would you- No! No, at least there's a checkpoint. It's not nice anymore. <laughs> well, that was mean. Some of these levels are a little mean in their- uh, in the way they're designed. Just like the way the enemies are spaced. It's a way I feel like it was deliberate. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, don't hit the dry bones. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, you never played him. You just had it on the mind because you found out the most shocking announcement of the latest Direct. I'm, I think Live Alive uh, being remastered is probably the most shocking for me. But I think that's up there. I'm hoping, you know, since they've done... Uh, Soccer and golf and tennis. Maybe we'll get another Mario Sluggers game, the baseball one. The worst, of course, would be getting another Mario Hoops game before Mario Sluggers. Mario Hoops 3 and 3 had good music, but God, the AI on like the hardest difficulty was a nightmare. And your teammates were useless! Absolutely useless. They didn't do anything. Only if it has Final Fantasy characters. Truth. 
Wendy O. Koopa of Castle Number no. 6 has sung her last song. To rescue the last of Yoshi's friends and the princess, Mario must now face his greatest challenge yet and embark into Bowser's domain. You know what? I like the black mage design for Mario uh, hoops with the scarf and anything. I thought it was really cool, but the white mage design made me angry. Because she's wearing like high heels, like wedge heels, and dangly jewelry while playing basketball. That's like, come on. Come on. <laughs> you know what? Somehow it didn't click that I was supposed to be swimming, even though this is the sunken ghost ship until I got right at the bottom. And I'm like, oh wait, I'm doing something. Mario teaches typing, switch up. What about Mario's early years? Mario was missing. Mario's time machine? Oh, oh, that's right, that's another change. The bullet bills are now pidget bills. Right, heels on basketball, like, lady, you're gonna damage the court. Where are the ghosts? Where are the ghosts? There they are. Yeah, this is reminding me there's something I never showed off in the ghost houses. Um, I'll have to remember to do that next time we're in one. Any place with booze. I'm gonna hope they don't spawn on top of me. Okay. Very nice. If any of the rest of you played Mario Hoops 3 on 3, it was a DS game. The music was very good. I liked the music in that game, but as I mentioned, your your teammates were useless because they wouldn't do anything. Like, they were just inert. Like, they would pick up items and not use them. Oh yeah, Vaporwave Star music! Where are the big spiky balls? Actually, I don't want them now because I'm not invincible. Woohoo! Orb. You never played it. Well, you're not missing much. L listen to the soundtrack on YouTube. It was an interesting concept with good music, but ugh. That's a good fanfare. Alright, we here. <laughs> Free him. Free him. Oh, hello. Goodbye, Chuck. Oh, no, you're following me. Okay. Let's see how it is. What? No. Oh, man, there's nothing here but mole. I wonder if I should stream Earthbound one of these days. Since you guessed, Endora, that the uh, sound font for what I played at the beginning of the stream was Mother 3. That would be fun to stream too, but I'd have to play Earth or stream Earthbound first. I've played Earthbound myself more than once. I've also played Mother 3 myself, although I played it the first time I played it, I got like a little over halfway through. This was several years ago when the fan translation first came out, but I was having a lot of issues on that laptop at the time. Like I couldn't get the um uh there was too much uh, lag, I guess, or desync um, to do the timing for the combat. Like, when you can get extra hits by tapping the A button to the rhythm. Um, but the other thing is that, for some reason on that laptop, it would run really slowly until I'd been playing for, like, half an hour or so. I don't know why that is, but now on, like, a more my more recent laptop, I played through all of Mother 3 a couple years ago. Fantastic. Good stuff. That's not good. Oh no! Please, you would like an Earthbound stream? I could do that. Why would you sandwich me between two moles? What about Earthbound Beginnings? That I have not played. And I'm 
part of me is curious about it, but on the other hand, um, like I've heard it's really unbalanced and very grindy, especially near the end. Like there was just a lot of crunch. I don't know if it was crunch necessarily to get it done, but the whole like Mount Itoi area isn't well balanced and it can get frustrating. Um, so I've heard play, play like a, a modified version of it or everything is balanced a little better and the encounter rate isn't quite so overwhelming. So I might do that at some point. I might try it on the the Switch online, at least, or the SNES online, but... Or, sorry, NES online, what am I saying? Hello, Joanna! Did you miss me getting sandwiched? Yeah, patches that rebalance things, I think, would be a more appealing approach. Your Mario sports experience is rather limited. Golf is and always will be the definitive Mario sports experience. Thank you for speaking the unvarnished truth, Kapotoko. You are correct. I don't know how many of you here are new enough or might be listening to this recording and are new enough to not be aware, but geez, I happen to be a big fan of Mario Golf. <laughs> I've thought about streaming it, but then I worry, yeah, is that gonna be boring? Like just playing through Toadstool Tour or something? I could do Advanced Tour, I guess, because that is a story mode. But you don't really get much Mario in Mario Golf for an Advanced Tour until very late in the game. You arrive in time for the sandwich, perfect. You didn't think they were boring? Good. Tune in and play with me in spirit. Yeah, I think I'd definitely do Toadstool Tour over, um... Well, that's just down there now. Disembodied Head. I'd do Toadstool Tour over, uh... Super Rush? I had to think about the name of the disappointing Switch iteration. How did you drop the ball so badly, Nintendo? Like, I was looking forward to the story mode, but like... I can't believe I'm saying this about Mario Golf. There's like plot threads that don't go anywhere. Oh boy, this is going to be an interesting section remade. Hope it doesn't crush me. Oh, I know. I am sobbing with you in spirit over Super Rush and what a mess it was. Like that whole thing at the beginning of the story mode. It's like, okay, you and your roommates are all having a rivalry. Um, and Birdo's like... I was gonna say your your not your roommate but your room mama, but that's it's weird. But it just I don't know. They drop the ball, like nothing ever comes of all that. You just forget about it. You see them like your other roommates a couple times during the story, but not really any more than that. The NPC dialogue I think was cute. They did what they could with the limitations given, but ultimately it was just a very disappointing package. Toadstool Tour is a lot of fun. You like the base game on the, uh, and say, or the, on the GameCube as well. Yeah, I thought, um, Mario uh, Sluggers was a lot of fun. I remember someone in high school playing, um, which Super Mario Advance was Super Mario World? Was it Super Mario Advance 4? I guess I can just beat this now. And they couldn't find the secret exit on that last level, so I did it for them. It's like they got bored halfway and were like, Hey, what do kids like? Final Fantasy? Sure, do it. <laughs> Except, I don't think that's even accurate. What do kids like these days? Fortnite? I shouldn't say that. I've never been with what is popular. Which I think has a side effect of I don't don't feel don't feel dated when I see like stuff that is popular now versus stuff that was popular several Is there like a chunk missing out of Okay, I thought there was a graphical glitch or there's a chunk missing from that. Um yeah, because I've never been popular, I can't be like, oh, back in my day the popular stuff was so much better, because I didn't listen to that either. I am immune. World was advanced too. What was advanced for then? Three? Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. 
should have said Pokemon. I used to be with it, but then they changed what it was, and it'll happen to you. You don't feel dated. That was you on Valentine's Day. Oh, no. I mean, that's a really good pun, but oh, and Tara, I'm sorry. I hope you're all having a nice discount chocolate day. Although I know a friend had reported that they tried to get discount chocolates today, but everything had already been put away. And all the Easter candy had been put out full price. I was in the grocery store the other week. Oh, man. And they already had... No, not even the other week. Like, just... Oh, yeah, it was the other week. And they already had, like, Cadbury mini eggs everywhere. It's like it's not even Valentine's yet. Jeez. Three was advanced for. Okay. I didn't own any of the advanced games. Oh, I just remember the numbering system was a little confusing. There was a graphical glitch. Okay. I'm not losing my mind. I think it would have been funny if they just had one pillar that had a chunk taken out of it, out of it for whatever reason. So I feel this cape is ultimately detrimental. Because I don't want to... If I glide, I'm not going to make the jumps in time, because the timing's tight. But I need big jumps, and I have to hold B for that. But if I hold B, that makes me glide. What do you want me to do, Mario World? Oh, there it is again. Whoa, this pillar is just freaking out. No. You don't want to know when you actually get the holiday stuff in. Well, I know where I work, we get, like, our Christmas stuff in quite a bit early. And then it takes up a lot of space in the back room. Because there's so many boxes there. And we can't open. Of course, they all have cutesy little no opening before, like, whatever our holiday launch day is. But I'm pretty sure my coworkers peek anyway because they want to see all the new merchandise. Some people get really, I don't want to say fanatical about collecting... Uh, cups and mugs and tumblers. But sometimes people get pretty intense about them. They're always really ugly designs, too. You just remember the Robin Egg Malt Ball candies are in, in our Easter time. I don't, I'm not familiar with those. I don't think I've ever had a Marshmallow Peep. Oh, we did it. We did it, lads. Lads in, like, a gender-neutral way. ooh -wee It's a malt ball, but it's candy coat. I don't think I've ever had a malt ball, either. I need to go in this saw is not so perfectly timed to get in my way. There we go. Ugh. Uh, no, don't kill! It killed! I don't know. Whoopers? Is that how you say it? Whoppers. Oh. Like the Pokemon? Man, I'm all the way back here. Jeez. Ah, oh, strap in. You know, I think that's better. Because, yeah, I can't take a hit from anything, but at least I'm not gliding. <laughs> Whoopers. Oh, like Maltesers. We do have Maltesers here. Um, I've never had one, though. I don't tend to eat candy. Like, on very rare occasions. I might get myself, like, a bar of dark chocolate, and then it'll take forever to eat it. So I'll have, like, a piece a day. <laughs> but it's pretty uncommon for me. I just don't have a sweet tooth. Oh. Well, maybe we'll make it- we'll hear enough of the music to hear that, like, weird somber part at the end after these weird arpeggios coming up. There it is. Definitely easier without a cape. Whoppers are superior. 
Little chocolate balls with crunchy innards. Yeah, I've definitely not had those. Ooh, -ee -ee. Mori, stop singing that. It's annoying. No, I can't. I can't stop. You can't make me. Go, go, go! Okay. We're in business. Just to not donk this up. Oh, you folks are aggressive today. Oh. Nice. <laughs> it just keeps breaking and I die. More tea! I think I've seen robin eggs before. Shaped like an egg, speckled to look like an egg. Back door, we are not going in the back way. That's for cowards and delivery people. Do I look like an Amazon driver? Maybe. Maybe Mario has to hustle a little harder in this grind economy. God, I hate saying that even as a joke. It's so depressing. I hate hustle and grind culture. Those words should not mean anything together. Ever back in the day, and I say this as if I do, even though it was way before my time, remember when the hustle was a dance? And grind was something you did to your coffee and maybe some spices, if you were feeling spicy? <laughs> Mario forced to pee in bottles. God, what a world we live in. I'm just reading the chat. You can't blame me for it. I don't think I've ever had a marshmallow peep. Although when I was in the States, I did visit... I don't know if it's still there. Maybe not in these times that we live in. But I went to a store for peeps. Like, the peeps store. That was all they had was peeps and peeps-related merchandise. I did not buy any peeps, if you're wondering. Peeps are really bad. Wait, what? You like peeps? We've got some contention in the chat now. Like, you can get different flavors of peep. Because I know the, the peep store had many. But I was never curious enough to actually buy any. Because they're so sweet. You love marshmallows, but peeps are not good. I've had, I think, like, similar marshmallow treats that weren't peeps per se. But if they have, like, the same flavor and texture I'm thinking of, I don't think I would like peeps. There's just something artificial and, like, it's like the sweetness. Like, marshmallows, of course, are naturally sweet. But then it feels like the sweetness has been enhanced somehow. Sugar-covered marshmallows. If they're sugar-covered, that would do it. You like peeps, but you don't judge people who don't like them. That's very magnanimous of you. I do like... I don't know if they still do it. Presumably. Um, the, the peeps company has, I guess, a contest every year to make dioramas out of peeps. Aw, oh, man. Not quite the same texture as marshmallows. You like the chewiness of marsh, chewiness of marshmallows. Ooh, let's not do that. I don't think I've had a marshmallow in a long time. Although when I was cleaning the kitchen, I did. I don't have any excuse for that. <laughs> I don't have. Uh, what was I saying when I was cleaning the kitchen? I threw out like, half a bag of marshmallows. They were... They, they had been sitting in the drawer for a while, so they were rock solid, but I bought them forever ago because my dad wanted Rice Krispie Treats. Um, but I never used up the whole bag. I don't want to make stuff like that very often just because... Oh, these stairs? You mean, like, I can take out a bubble? Well, I guess it doesn't have to be those stairs. Let me see if I can... No! I want to kick the bubble. The green bubble sort of scared you as a kid? Me too, actually. I can't really put my finger on why. There's just something about them. 
just silently pursuing you. Oh, I wanted to try and like get the bubble on the stairs. Uh, oh, maybe this one? No. I don't know if a, a good opportunity is going to arise for me to hit those bubbles. Solidarity! Ugh. Ugh. I need to get up enough speed so I can hit this. But I don't want to run off the platform. Ugh. There we go. Jeez. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Definitely not going to make it from the pit. They're also oblong in a weird way that makes you think of a baby's head. Okay, okay. I forgot to share this with stream, but a couple weeks ago I was out for a walk and one of the houses I passed, good, good, killed by a baby's head. One of the houses I passed had pasted on their front door like a giant blown up image of what I presume to be their child's face. So it's just like a couple feet wide and tall. This image of a baby. Or a toddler, I guess. And I feel like it might have been the same house I saw the previous year. Where I think the same kid's birthday, they had put a giant blown up image on their front window. Like just their big windows on the side of their house. Of their son's face. Or their son dressed in like a little. What? A little sailor costume with, like, happy second birthday on it. It was just weird and uncomfortable. A nice subtitle for this stream. Good, good, killed by a baby's head. You would not like that scene as a stranger or as the kid. Yeah, I guess maybe that's part of the reason I found it uncomfortable, is I feel like I'm intruding on this kid's life. I mean, this kid doesn't have enough agency to say whether or not they want their picture plastered outside for the whole neighborhood to see. Okay, go, go, go. Run! Move those little legs! What? It doesn't even do the diddly diddly before it stops. I feel bad for a lot of kids being raised in this day and age where their pictures are plastered all over the internet. And I know that parents, you know, want to document and save these memories um, with their kids. But, I don't know, at the same time it just feels exploitable almost? Well, no, the exploitive ones are the, the people that use their children for clout online. That's just evil. Like, exploiting your children, you know, to get clicks or whatever. Especially when, like, you know, the kids are like toddlers or whatever. They can't consent to that. Reminds you of the second Ninja Turtles movie where Shredder goes, They're babies! I have not seen a Ninja Turtles movie. Whoops. Oh, no. I gotta optimize my running and jumping here. Yeah, has anyone seen the second... Okay, good. Your favorite line in any movie. Can, can you explain the context? Will the context help me understand? Blah. Most people don't know what that quote is when you say it. Well, now I know. Although I don't know the inflection that Shredder says it with in the movie. So I might not be able to fully appreciate it. No, no, no. <laughs> I really gotta gun it. Because if you want the secret exit, you gotta gun it. Ugh, not do that. Why do I keep hitting the same dang baby's head? You've seen the second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film within the last year, and you have no idea what that is. He has the ooze that made the turtles mutants, and he used it on a wolf and snapping turtle, and they're super massive and deadly looking, okay? Gray's bonus. No. The spacing of these ghosts is so inconvenient. 
The second they see him, they try to hug him and start calling him Mama. Oh, they've imprinted on Shredder. Good. <laughs> Was this one of the ones made in, like, the 80s? Oh, man, why do I keep... Why I bad all of a sudden? I was playing Mario so well, like, on Friday. You know what it is? Maybe it's because I took, like, a four-hour nap. Unintentionally, but I got home from work, and I'd slept really badly the night prior, and I just crashed. And I did not mean to sleep that long, but I did, which is unfortunate because I still had a lot of housework to do. And, uh, yeah, so I'm still a little discombobulated, I suppose. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> I thought, if I hit this block, maybe I will just perfectly bounce over the Eerie, which is the name of that little ghost. And I didn't. Oh, 91. They were in the 90s. Oh. Well, still, yeah, judging by the dates, a little before my time. I would not have been very cognizant when they came out. The worst you've seen me do in this hack. <laughs> you know, if it was coming from anyone else, Carrie, I'd be I'd be upset, but no. Yeah, this is definitely a low point. For me, this stage, it's not even hard. Come on, why am I flubbing all these dang jumps? I'm so sad. More spin jumps, that might be a good idea. That might help the spate. Ugh, that's just my own dumb fault, though. The star, because um, I have to maximize my speed to get to the secret exit. I could grab the star, and I suppose that could help me get through the wall of ghosts without having to slow down at all. But if you want the secret exit in this stage, you really gotta gun it. Because it's all the way at the far right of those uh, blocks. But okay, I'll get the star. Okay. I'll eat dirt ghosts. You know, this probably was correct. You're right. And I'm just a ding-dong. Alright. Is that how we're gonna play? Is that how it's gonna be? I think the worst part is that you don't get that de -de 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 right before a P-switch runs out. So it just ends abruptly. Oh, so dying at all is all the more noticeable. Okay, well, that makes me feel better about the rest of it. It's just obviously this one area that I've, like, all my years of finely honed Mario playing has just evaporated. It has left my body. I am just a husk. Or I'm, uh, was I aware of the Ninja Turtles cartoon? Yes, actually. Ugh. Um, that's what I saw before, like, all the move. I'm not gonna make it now, because I waited for the star. Well, let's see what's over here. Uh, death. I'm definitely gonna die. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me go somewhere where I can get, like, a quick power-up. And then I can afford to eat a hit. So from a ghost, so I can just barrel through them. Does this have one I can just grab near the beginning? Let's find out. I don't remember. Well, that has a Yoshi. Except I can't take him in the ghost house with me. So that's a moot point. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, this spiny is bugging me. There we go. Okay. You apparently woke up a parent so you could watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon on Saturday mornings, but you don't remember it. Hello, Belle! Welcome! Looking into growing ivy as a bonsai? Ooh, ooh. You actually, like, have a link to anything related to that? If you want to toss it to me on, on Twitter, because I am interested in learning more. I love bonsai trees. I think they're so cute. No, my my brilliant plan. Well, I'm already here. Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
Uh, I've come to talk with you again. I don't remember how the rest of that song goes. Let's get another freaking cape. Rip me. Well, as long as you're all entertained, then I'm happy. Even if I'm embarrassing myself. Is there a cape feather at the beginning of this that I can maybe grab? Okay, not this one. No. Nope. 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 I'll just go back to this other level. That ghost hanging around the corner is the worst. I swear, some of the levels in this ROM hack, like, the, uh, some enemies, particularly Boo's in the ghost houses, are spaced just annoyingly enough to be, like, super inconvenient. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm getting impatient. That flower is making fun of me. Really hard since the trunk takes too long to thicken. You were thinking of more making a pseudo bonsai with the one you have. That would also be very cool. I love your little, like, corner of plants. Well, I've seen your corner of plants in your previous living space, Belle. I hope you still have it. Because your little, like, wall, not wall, but, you know, plant setup, I found was very cute and charming. This level is incredible. God, like, it's not this hard. It's not. I think the ghosts are space just for maximum inconvenience. There's definitely a ghost house earlier on where the boos were also spaced just so that, you know, at the apex of your jump as you're going between broadly spaced out platforms, that there is a boo right where you're, you would be at the apex of your jump just to be annoying. Just to get my go. Okay. Okay, okay. No, this is fine. We can still make it. No, we, no, we can't. No, we can't. What if I've, I've ruined everything? I've absolutely ruined everything. I heard the Dee Lee Lee that time. Is this a power up? No, this is just suffering. But I'm back here. That's good. Ugh. Give me. Give me the P-switch. I think it's the fact it's making me work for the P-switch that is extra galling. <laughs> See ya. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get two power-ups. I'm not gonna go to the stupid level with the spinies because it takes too long. And I am impatient. So impatient. It is like an existing level. Like, there is a ghost house like that. So there's precedent. Um, it's just like the spacing of the ghosts is different. Yeah, two power-ups. I'm brilliant, right? This used to be a cape feather. It used to be a green block. It's not a green block anymore, but that's fine. I just need to, like, eat a hit. So I get, like, maximum full power through the wall of ghosts. A fascinating piece of Mori lore. The final world ghost house. The traumatic bane. Traumatic? Traumatic bane of her existence. It's not a hard ghost house, though. I don't know why. Uh, it did used to be a green blog, right? Like, boy howdy, how many times have I played through Mario World? It's a lot. Interesting to see how the game is when the enemies aren't deliberately placed. You think, like, they just kind of put them where, like, roughly it felt right? Like, yeah, I think there was a guy there. Yeah, sure. I'll add a ghost there. Maybe two for some spice. I can hit that without having to struggle. No, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. I'm not gonna make it. No, it's gonna run out, it's gonna run out, it's gonna... Uh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Mm. Uh, I'm so shrimpy. I did better the star attempt, you may be right. I just have to hope the star goes 
in a direction that is convenient. Oh no! Oh, I took the wrong door and now I'm back in bubble hell. This is just a metaphor for the like the bubble economy. <laughs> I need to channel like some supersonic speed here. I gotta stop hedging my bets there. I'm not gonna make it again. <gasps> I made it! Ha ha! I need your dang star. Oh god, I hope this is the right way. I hope this is the right way. Oh no, this isn't the right way. This is the right way! Guess who has to do it again? Me! Me! It's fine, I got it now. No, I don't. Yarareta. <sighs> what? Have I, I should have done a save state, but I thought, no. I don't want to. Now here we are. If you're watching this recording, my god, I'm sorry. But hey, if you're watching this recording, you would have seen the first part. So, like, I'm good at Mario World. I just, for some reason, should have save stated. Well... Lesson learned. No, I keep hitting that one ghost. That one ghost. It's always the same ghosty. YouTube LP or what? What? Knuckles TV show. I saw, like, briefly from the Sonic Twitter, a note, like, they had tweeted about, you know, the stuff they're doing for Sonic's anniversary and the upcoming release of the second movie. I still haven't gotten to see the first one, but there was a note about live action Sonic show? Like, live action? I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, man. No. So, so what is this about a Knuckles TV show? Are they, like, legitimizing the Ann Knuckles joke? Actually, no, they already legitimized that joke in Sonic Mania. Because there's an unlockable Ann Knuckles mode, which makes Knuckles uh, the second character instead of Tails. Sonic Underground Take Two, God, no. No, no, no. No. Like, you know, even back then, when my... Taste, I was less picky, still picky, but less picky about animation. I could not bear to watch Sonic Underground. Like, it just... I hated the art and the designs and, like, the lore and the music and everything. It just... Ugh. Not this time, fell ghost. Hang on, let me make... What is the hotkey for save states? I don't know. Whatever. So, like, this one takes me to the regular exit. And... Yeah, this one takes me to the start of this room. Oh, Idris Elba will vo voice Knuckles again in the series? Oh! Well, that's promising. I mean, I didn't see the, the second trailer. I guess presumably they debuted a second trailer doing during the Super Bowl. You know what? I'm gonna get a cape. I have a theory about... Because instead of... Um, using that P-switch on the block... Uh, making the block staircase um, with the coins, because I'm not great at doing that, I'm gonna get a cape feather so I can just fly up there. Oh, uh, well, if you find that out, Belle, um, obviously I won't say it out loud here on stream because I, I don't want to get in trouble or get anybody in trouble. Not really a trailer as much as a little teaser. Okay. Now I know, though. 
I feel like I probably passed like several places that are more convenient locations for grabbing a cape, but whatever. Not really a trailer so much as a little teaser. Oh. I wanted to hear more of Idris Elba Knuckles. Because I've only seen that one trailer. But I like his voice is a good fit for Knuckles. He lends Knuckles, I think, an air of dignity. Which Knuckles does not... What am I saving and quitting for? Knuckles does not often possess. I like Knucklehead. But I think it's important that he's a big dope. And I mean, at least from the trailer I did see... That it seems like they're preserving that aspect with Eggman tricking Knuckles into doing his bidding. Because if Knuckles isn't a ding-dong, then what's the point? Knuckles' superiority. The third Sonic movie would have to be split into two parts, and that's right, you'd have to lock on the second part to the first one. But if you lock it on to the first part, you get an Easter egg. Knuckles' superiority. What is your favorite Sonic character? Anyone here, if you have one. And if you don't, you have to pick one now. Or I'll pick one for you. And it's going to be Amy Rose. I had a hunch it was Knuckles. <laughs> I like Knucklehead. He's, he's a dingus and that's why he's fun. Okay. We're gonna freaking do this. Blech. Why is Yoshi such a coward? Like, specifically of ghost houses. You think if he was afraid of anything, it would be me. Robotnik, also a good choice. You know, that's not really what I want to happen. But alright. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna make it now. Mm-hmm. Sir Jeffrey Sh St. John the Skunk. You know, the funny part about this is that I know you're not just making a character up. Well, that was not what I wanted. Are you a comics fan? I've heard the newer comics have been really good, but I haven't gotten to read them. Whoa, whoa, hang on, my controller isn't- oh, because it moused out of the window. Because my controller cord bumped my mouse. I was like, oh my god, what have I done? Definitely Dr. Ivo, I can't roll my R's, Robotnik. Stupid reason, too. First Sonic game is Sonic and Knuckles, and the cover had a blue Sonic silhouette and a red Knuckles silhouette. You like red, Knuckles is red. Favorite character. Hey, you know what works? That's a fine reason to like Knuckles. You know what? Yeah. Yeet. Should have done this to begin with. Oh, thank God. Okay. 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 Let me save. Uh, I am so sorry that we've been here for so long. Please trust me, I am very embarrassed myself. Um, I feel like the secret exit is through here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, God. I don't even need this dang P-switch. Yeah, trying to get this secret exit without a cape is, like, a nightmare. Ugh, get in there. For me, because I'm not good at manipulating those little coin blocks. Okay, there we go. Never speak of that again. You only know that skunk character because Chip Cheesem mentioned him in a stream when he regressed into a 12-year-old surfing old-time Windows 95 web. There's a lot to unpack there. First try. <laughs> I am so sad right now. You know, that reminds me of any of you- well, okay, I don't care he has because she streamed it. Have any of you played Hypnospace Outlaw? Um, which is a game sort of meant to emulate the old internet. Except it's set in like a faux version of uh, 1999. Okay, I shouldn't say a faux version of it exactly, but um, you're using- you're browsing the fake internet. It's good. Wow. Wow. Okay, 
Again, there's something melancholy about this take on the athletic theme. I don't know why. Memories of a simpler time, perhaps. You don't know you can get in that hole with ducking? Oh yeah. You just gotta wedge yourself in there. 25 minutes of footage mysteriously disappears. God, was it that long? Ugh. Oh. I don't deserve to drink my tea. The skunk character is sort of controversial because of Ken Penders. Yeah, I'd buy it. All good. It's the digging chucks. This level also kind of sucks. No, Yoshi, I think... I feel like I needed him for something. Boy, he just sinks in there, huh? Status, Mori status redeemed, but has been swiftly taken away after I just left Yoshi to melt. It's okay, he's fireproof. I mean, you don't know he's not fireproof. That's why he dissolves in Mario Sunshine, is he had to choose between being fireproof or waterproof. Oh, you know what? I'm not. You came across a Donkey Kong Country 2 knockoff slash inspired game on Steam the other day. Please look up the name. I would like to know. There's a lot of elements, I think, that have to come together to make Donkey Kong Country 2 as good as it is. Like, not just the good, the, uh, the level design, the music, like, just the controls. Like, it feels really good to play. And you'd have to have all those those elements in harmony with one another. Don't send me into the lava. The reviews are all really good, okay. I like how the checkpoint was right there. Right there. Nope, not today. I'm also glad they never brought back charge and shuck, but now with a shovel it's like the action figure they sell with like one lame accessory. It's like, oh, well, now I'm the one making the Simpsons reference. It's um, where Lisa meets the creator of her beloved Malibu Stacy doll. Oh man, I forgot there was a pit there. And they make a new doll that's supposed to be empowering to little girls instead of uh, Malibu Stacy and her like, don't ask me, I'm just a girl, tee hee. Um, but they wind up getting overlooked by Malibu Stacy repackaged with a new hat. And Lisa's like, it's the same doll, like, but she's got a new hat. Shoveling is your favorite sport. <laughs> Speed shoveling for when you gotta bury a body. No, really fast. Oh, snow shoveling is your sport this winter, especially because it never stops snowing. Yeah, it's life on the prairies. We actually got our weather has been all over the place lately, which, on you know, an environmental from an environmental standpoint, is alarming and upsetting. Um, but we got a little dusting of snow last night. Like, most of it's already melted. But it was odd seeing, like, Monday at work, we were really busy. But then, no, I did it again, why? But today, it was really slow. And I wonder if it's just that, like, two centimeters of snow and everybody's like, no, I can't take this anymore. I think compared to our previous winter, though, it's been fairly mild. Gosh, yesterday, I was even thinking, like, oh, most of the snow is all melted. I could ride my bike again. But, no, it had to snow again and get all slushy out. I don't want to... I don't have the tires for uh, winter riding. So, I don't want to go out on the snow and ice because I've done it before and it has ended poorly. Oh, no. Ah, uh, no, you can't take this checkpoint from me. That's right. That's right. 
I do feel like I need Yoshi for the secret exit, though. I could be misremembering. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I do need Yoshi for the secret exit. That's okay, I'm here now. Kaze and the Wild Masks. I assume it's like the Japanese Kaze and not K's. You're cold as hell and you're not gonna take it anymore. Um, I need a Yash. Well, there's one I can get at the beginning of that level. Just out here. Perf. Have you tried it, Endora? Gosh, I have not, like, bought any games in a hot minute. Just, you know, trying to save money for the move and all that. There's a lot of expenses. A lot of expenses. I think I might get the new Kerbo when it comes out, though. Which is in, like, a little over a month? What the heck? Been too busy playing video games to play video games. Understandable. I've been playing uh, a lot of Pokemon Legends, although I didn't get to play any today because... I crashed real hard, and then I had work to do. Um, Pokemon Legends has been a lot of fun, though. I gotta say, and I'm not gonna say... No! <laughs> there he goes. I like how I ejected him out of habit, even though I needed to keep him. And if I had not ejected him, uh, then I would still have him. But here we are. Um, I don't want to say too much about Pokemon Legends, because that would be hypocritical of me, but I I do have to point out one thing that I've found surprising about the game is, like, its explicit mentions of death and dying and how people will tell you, oh yeah, you know, as a Survey Corps member, you could just die. I did this to myself. But yeah, it's odd hearing a, you know, a first-party Nintendo game, especially Pokemon, speak so frankly about death. You know, because back in the day, um, you could not say any of those things in a first-party video game. I don't- or first-party Nintendo game. I don't know what sort of started that- Okay, that puritanical- I don't know if puritanical's the word, but, um... Like, I guess, censorship crusade? Because there was a lot of, you know, moral panic in, like, the 90s. And, oh, think of the children! We can't have them playing violent video games. What'll it do to their psyches? They'll start throwing reptiles down pits. Willy-nilly. But, yeah, for a while, that there was a lot of stuff you couldn't say or make reference to in games. Which, I'm sure most people, if not everyone here, knows that well. But, if I have younger members of the audience... Oh boy, a bot. I got excited for a second. Yeah, no, they just say straight up die. Um, I mean, you do black out. So, in the game, you're warned that if you take, as you, your character takes too much damage from Pokemon, you will black out. No, Yoshi, why do you. You ran into that yourself. Boy. Maybe I should save state having Yoshi so I don't have to run back every time. Um,. But, uh, so if you take too much damage from an enemy Pokemon, you'll black out. You won't die in-universe. Um, and you lose some of your items. And I have not had that happen yet until yesterday. And, well, I posted it on Twitter. But if you haven't seen it, the thing that finally knocked me out was myself. I, uh, I yeeted myself off a cliff. I thought, I think what happened is that in my brain, I had been descending a lot of cliffs. And there's a ride Pokemon where you press, if you're like next to a cliff, you can press Y. And they'll cling to the wall so you can climb down it. And I think my brain was thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to climb down this cliff wall. So I'll press Y to do that. But of course, if you're not on the ride Pokemon and you press Y, then you dodge roll. And why do I... I didn't save state. Ugh. I'm so sorry. We're gonna freaking do this. So you know what I should do is just go ahead and beat that fortress. If I lose this Yoshi. Because then I can go to the Star Road and then I can easily get back to that top secret area. 
Yeah, that's more sensible. Why didn't I do that to begin with? Because uh, I am many things, but sensible is not one of them. Yeah, the repeated warnings that you will die here if you're not careful of such a departure. It's weird, right? Yoshi just loves the lava. He's cold. It is also winter for Yoshi. I mean, if he's if he's Yoshi is like a reptile, a dinosaur, a dragon, whatever you want to call him. Um, is he cold blooded? Does he need the warmth to survive? Yeah, if you have oh, there's a, again a, a. Okay, I'm just gonna go on. If you have a certain ride Pokemon, I don't know if you have them yet, and I don't want to say it. Um, you can descend cliffs. My actions are very much in line with how you act after a crash nap. That makes me feel a little better. Like, I don't know what happens. It's like my brain just shuts down. You know what I should do one of these days? Because I think one of my streams I was reading brief briefly from the... Um, on my notes app on my phone. I've tried to write down some dreams after I've- oh, that's- that's nice. After I've had them. And... Especially when you're trying to type on a phone with autocorrect. I used to do it on my laptop, but my phone is right there when I wake up. I'm trying to type stuff down, A, when you're still really groggy, and B, when autocorrect rears its ugly head. Um, just makes for a lot of confusion. And I should try and read some of those out again, because they're- they're something. Not right now, obviously. Okay. Gotta get up on this. There we go. Ho ho. That was- that was mean. Ugh, man. I feel like the smart thing to do here is just to use a cape. Because this takes so long. Oh, you're really trying my patience, little blocks. Ha, 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 ha. Misery. Misery. Okay. Free mechanic. Oh, I guess I should stay up here. Uh, there we go. You've made abominations out of those blocks. You've given life. Oh, no, I can't spin jump on that. Oh, 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 oh. I can't quite make it. Okay, that works. Ugh. The song isn't even too wrong in places, it's just the wrong key that makes you upset. I've not really been reading chat for the last little bit, because I don't want to fall into a pit. Or hit myself on one of these. They always make me think of sharpened pencils. No. No. I know! I know! It's because the first area takes so long! Oh heck. Oh heck. No. What am I doing? Can't even get through. No! <laughs> Oh, oh, it's like your brain expects tomorrow, but it's still today. Yeah. Uh, does this have like a power up at the beginning? Yeah, it does. Why don't I just go here to begin with? Because I'm a ding dong. You don't think you have them yet, or you've never noticed you could do it. Um, I'm in the fourth area. Um, I've just unlocked the ability to go to the fifth, but I haven't gone there yet. Okay, why is the music still hyperactive speed? 
Like, it's... I'm not losing my mind, right? It's super fast. Oh. Okay, you're in the fourth area. Then you might have the ride Pokemon I'm thinking of. I just, I don't want to say, like, any details of Pokemon. Because I've been going through the game without knowing what to expect. Which I have been greatly enjoying, can I say. Especially finding Pokemon. You know, both, like, uh old favorites and, you know, like, oh, like a Hisuian form of something? I get excited. Okay. You know, just in the, the interest of expediency, I hate using save states, but just to keep things going. To most of the forms you find not great. Excited to hear the fast music already sped up. Man, Kamek, if you could just, like, maybe get the, the bottom one so I could get through it. My god, you're killing me, dude. Okay, thank you. Oh, well, don't, like, literally kill me. I would appreciate that. Ugh. Except I can't even quite get through there. Okay. Ugh. I really hope the music gets even faster, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be really disappointed. Kamek, could you- oh, leave me alone. Kamek, okay, wait, don't leave me alone. I'm stuck. <laughs> Kamek! Oh no, okay, oh. Don't don't spawn there. It's not convenient for me. Okay. Oh, the Uiu's are getting hyper. What, a thwimp? You made a thwimp? Don't make a Oh, you dirtbag. Well, good thing I made a safe state, even though my pride doesn't like it. Why would you why would you make a thwimp? Growlithe is a good lad. I haven't seen any wild growlithes. They're cute, though. I gotta change up my team. Because I'm falling into old habits, and like... Kamek, you were killing me. Please. Okay. Uh... You know, I could have sworn you could spin jump on his... His magic, but I guess you can't. Ooh. Please. Dry bones getting the steps in. Oh my god. Please, Kamek. You're making me so sad. Okay. Well, here comes the hyper music. Yeah, heck me up. Heck me up with those arpeggios. Oh, no, don't heck me up that way. I don't want that. Oh, how benevolent. No, I jumped too soon. Oh, Kamek. Okay, I'm through. No, I'm not. Oh, it must be a rare spawn. That might be. I've only ever seen a Togepi once, and I was riding on Weird Ear, and I, I tried to stop in time, but it noticed me. It was on top of a cliff, and it saw me. Not a steep cliff. And then weirdly, like, it shot, like, a ball of psychic anger at me, for lack of a better word. Kamek, please. And then just left. It ran away, but of course not before it could, it could attack me. 
angry baby. Oh, beans. Whereabouts? Um, I want to say it was near Apom Hill. I think in the coastlands. Now we wait. It's just getting faster and faster. Please, why do you... Okay, good enough, good enough. Good enough. I actually have a, a, a togetic that was just flying. No. Like, I just saw it... I think this is in the, the second area. And I just saw one, like, way above my head. And I'm like, oh, I want that, but I can't fly or anything. How I get... But then, um, I had some feather balls, so I just threw one of those, and I caught it. Please? Okay, maybe I can, I can make this work. Do not make a thwimp. Yeah, if I was really smart, I would have taken that Koopa and used its head to break a block. Ah, no! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna freaking do this. Jumpman living up to his name. What about screaming internally, man? Well, I'm glad you also find this level nightmarish and you're not like her, Mori, you're good. I couldn't take that. My pride is very delicate. It's very delicate. Oh. Now I have a cape, and hopefully I don't lose it. Like I've done every other time, so I can break the uh, barriers with my cape. No, Kamek, leave me alone. This is why they took you out of Mario Kart, you know? God, we're here. Thank God. Get out of here. Hazukashina. Uh. Oh, I know. That was the toughest boss in the whole game. I can't believe we survived. But through the power of friendship and gumption. Nobody ever shouts out gumption. Boop. That's me after this level. Larry Koopa of Castle Number 7 is now just a memory. All that stands between the end of Mario's journey and a nice vacation is Bowser's castle itself. Good luck! Always gumshoe. That's right. A shout out to the power of friendship and also Dick Gumshoe. Okay, I'm gonna get myself- oh, I can't get a Yosh. I thought it would let me go left, but it doesn't. So I have to go all the way over here to get a Yoshi. Ugh. Ugh. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, well that's fine. I'm gonna do the intelligent thing and make a save state. I wanna see if I can't get the cape feather here too. There we go. Why is the music still turbo? <laughs> is is my game just like this now? I think it is. You know what? That feels appropriate. This is like anxiety music. <laughs> oh, the bongos! Listen to those bongos! Heck it up, bongo man! Oh, heck it up, Mori. Uh, okay. Be wild and. <laughs> nope. It's always this bit. I don't know why this bit specifically. There we go. Down the hole. Oh my god, look at him! 
Did you see? Oh, when that whenever the, the lava bubble jumps. <laughs> I think my Yoshi's broken. Can I get a refund? Well, that's an interesting, like, palette glitch. I like how it took charge and Chuck a second to realize I'd hit him with fire. I'm like, oh yeah, this kills the Chuck. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you can get some, like, weird glitches in this game. Okay! Uh, I think that's every exit, uh, except for bows. Let's freaking do it. Doesn't stuff glitch when you use Yoshi in fortresses and ghost houses? Probably, since he's not supposed to be in them. You wonder if for some reason it still thinks I'm in one. Maybe. I don't remember where all these doors go, and I don't remember which is the least annoying. What should I go into? One, two, three, or four? Cast your votes now. Somebody give me a number. I'm gonna take a sip of tea. Three. Oh, guess what is unappealingly tepid? Oh, it's the carpets. The carpet maze. I don't know what these actually are, but I always called them carpets. Ugh. Ugh. Are you sick of the the ooey-oos yet? Oh no! My cape! Dirtbag. Okay, one, two, three, or sorry, five, six, seven, or eight. I need another number. Ooh-wee-oo! I can't, I can't not. Ooey-oo! Tapestries, rugs, eight. Cause I just did Splatoon. Oh god, Chuck's revenge. Oh no. He's been training for the Olympics. Here we go, the disco ball. Ninjis! I gotta do this because I want to hear the ending theme. No power-ups, we just doing this! Missing something. Uh, what emotion is this making me feel? <laughs> this is like lo fi. Hang on. No. Yeah. You can't tell me you didn't do that. Thank you. The music lost its luster, huh? Bowser's been hit hard by budget cuts. I don't think it's bad, it's just a different feeling than the original. Has anybody played Super Mario Advance? It was two with World, right? Has anyone played it and do do you know if they like fix Bowser's color scheme? So he's not green anymore. This is back in the day where they were still kind of figuring out his design. Whoops. You like that Bowser installed a disco ball in his fortress? Well, yeah. You never know when you're gonna be 
uh, put on to host a hot dance party. I don't need you anymore. Oh, I can't even pick it up. It's stuck. There it goes. Godspeed, Mecha Koopa. You don't recall. I would assume they probably didn't, actually. do yoing He's so mad. Was it the Carnival Night Zone Act 2 boss in Sonic uh, 3 Knuckles that also bounced around like this? I don't remember. <laughs> Good. Is the clown car alive? Maybe it's like spiritually connected to Bowser, like some sort of soul bond. Why do I keep, uh, why do I keep doing that? Like instinctively I hate the clown face, I guess. I'm gonna throw a Mecha Koopa at it. sad. There we go. Done. <laughs> Mario's quest is finally over. Mario, the princess, and Yoshi are going to take a vacation. Bowser and his car are technically on background layer since you can't natively rotate sprites. I didn't know that. Yeah, Advance has the terrible audio clips. Although I think... Uh, the original Super Mario Advance, which is the Mario 2 remake, is the worst of it. <laughs> ah! Oh, cute. Let's just enjoy this. The hair bounce is cute, right? You know what? I kind of like this. The the steel drums are a little loud, but it's cute. Flourishes are very cute. Ah, Arigato Miyamoto san. They were shocked. Whoa, there were babies in there? Well, you should get to see the enemies that were changed by me clearing the special world. Like jumping pumpkin plant. <laughs> and Pidget Bills. Have we seen Pidgets since this in Mario 2? I don't remember. Mm 
Yeah, the extra flourishes are cute. Super Mario Advance 3 Yoshi's Island for adding a brand new level to each world. Like, different from the extra level you can unlock by getting 100 on all the previous stages in a world. The Rex actually shows up in uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Bony Beetle. I couldn't remember the names of those guys. It was so obvious. There he is, four Trent Reznors. Is the timing for this a little off? A little bit. How do we know these enemy names aren't from memory? Because I can confirm those are the actual enemy names. Yeah, the timing is a little off. Boy, Luigi's looking kind of intense there, huh? It's one of my favorite ending themes in games. Um, this is also one of those games that you have to reset uh, after you beat it. You can't go back to the title screen. Um, but hopefully it saves everything and then we can see the 96 exits. Wait, what do you mean 95? Did I not- is it because I didn't do the back door? Huh? Well, no, it's- did I not? Oh, you know what? Because it doesn't save this. Huh. Well, I did it. We got the secret exit there. Eh. We saw it on stream. We know it's 96. Whatever. Anyway, thank you for joining me for uh, Super Mario World Remade from Memory. I had a great time doing this, even if today I played horribly, and I'm so sorry. You all confirmed it with your eyes. Good. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be streaming on Friday. I have a couple things I was thinking of. Um, I'm a little wary of our move in a few weeks, and I don't know when I'll get set up for streaming again, so that... Let me check my calendar here real quick. Um, Okay, March, my moving date's on a Friday, but we might have everything packed up on a Saturday. Or, sorry, I had that backwards. Just switch the dates. Um, so I might not be able to stream on the 4th of March. But up until that, everything should be consistent. I don't want to start something really long and then not be able to get back to it for a while. But we'll see. Also, before I scoot, I was going to say, I've never watched it, but there's an anime airing right now called My Dress of Darling. And one of the main characters, her name is Marin. And I saw her name, Marin, written in kanji. And it's written with the kanji for ocean and dream. And I thought, is this Link's Awakening? Is the creator a Link's Awakening fan? Anyway, I've never seen that show or read the manga, but I just saw that and thought it was funny. So I will catch you on Friday for something. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, have a wonderful evening. I will catch you next time. Good night.